owning the railway wasn't enough. Now Starek has bought an omnibus company as well. I suppose he wants to control the neighborhood's workers and keep them under his thumb. Pearl Attaway is Starek's competitor, is she? Perhaps it's time I went into business. And Miss Fry, what are your plans? I studied the history we recovered from the Kenway Mansion's hidden room. I'm off to a certain monument. Miss Edith Swinebourne has agreed to your terms. Everything is permitted in this gang fight. The wager is ownership of the Thames. Good luck. Jacob, Evie, it's you. Thank goodness. Experimenting, are we, Alec? Correct. And looking a bit frazzled. Nerves. It's those great oafs Starrett keeps sending round to coax me. He is offering a ridiculous amount of money. Alec, you're not thinking of jumping ship, are you? Never. I've been working in something in case they get too insistent. Uh, it's meant to stun an assailant, should the need arise. Are you certain that it works? Uh, not as such. I've made three of them with varying degrees of acidity and whatnot. Oh, one must be the right formula. Let's find some Staric lackeys to target then, shall we? <laughs> Speaking of Staric, he is still transmitting false information. We could simply destroy his transmitters. His company's too well guarded. And the bombs will help, but it would be awkward to produce bombs that potentially do not stun. Oh, wait a minute. Looks like opportunity has come knocking. Oh dear, they never looked so angry before. Stand clear, Alec. Let us instead play a little linguistic game with them. Um, take the bombs and climb onto the roof. Uh, when I see the name of uh, a fruit, toss one near the thugs. Right then. Oh, uh, oh wait, uh, I nearly forgot. Um, slip these into your boots and you will henceforth be immune to all voltaic discharge. I think. I'm running rather late. Enough of the niceties. 
We've come to smash your place up, in we best. You got one of them telly what's it's in here, ain't ya? You've been reading messages from the Steric Company. That is as untrue as the notion that the Steric Telegraph Company is emitting impartial information, sir. Come again? Your employer's promises are nothing but hot air. His operations are about to turn pear shaped. <laughs> Agility of a dollop of donkey's apples. Apples? I think he's trying to be funny. Oh, he dropped a no one kill, you little sod. Ain't me, Bez. Go blind me, it's got me throat. Oh, oh, those rascals throwing stink bombs again. It happens all the time around here. you get one do you really think i would keep it here do you see a cable a telegraph without a cable is about as useful as a bell without a clapper i'll give you a bleeding clapper well bless my boots you're as purple as a plum Stay clear of. Good show, Alec. Thanks to you, Evie. Your mere presence gave me courage and resolve I never knew I had. I'm glad I could help. Now it's time to shut down Stark's empire of propaganda. Got all day. The longer we can keep Staric from spewing out false information, the more we can awaken the people with the truth about his operations. I agree. The sooner we can get there, the quicker we can act. Would you believe my mother says there are still some wives in her street that swear by that shooting cell? So I took it upon myself to tell her neighbors the truth about the obnoxious draft. That's good, Alec. You can't go round to every household in London town. No, I wasn't always welcome. It shows how false information can be as difficult to stamp out as fishwives' profanities at Billingsgate. Or vermin at Smithfield. But if we can eradicate the source that continually feeds such detrimental trash, then little by little the truth will take the upper hand and the sham will be flushed out. That's why we're here. We will have to get in without being detected, mind you. I shall stand them while you get inside. I shall destroy not one, but three parts of the transmitter. He'll be as good as dancing before a public toilet without a penny. Easy. Easy. Here now.
dead as a doorknob. You ain't no lost in humanity. You wish to stay. You're going to take it? How beautiful was she? Oh. Pets has been soiled by corrupt moons. Oh well. Oh. I see. This is becoming rather perilous, to say the least. That one, but I've pulled it as well as a dentist pulls a rotten tooth. Move yeah, faster if you can. I see. This is becoming rather perilous, to say the least. Deals, Jacob Eve. Thanks are once again in order for supporting what is most dear to me and to our cause freedom of speech. It's a blessing that you employ your genius for the common good, Alec. However, I suggest you vacate your workshop. Uh, no need. Not now you've given me sacks full of courage. And besides, what with my little devices, I have all the protection I need. Uh, should you find yourselves with a moment to spare, do drop by. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Miss Fry, what a pleasant surprise. Hello, Clara. I was just going to check on Lambeth since the asylum's closing. What brings you here? The children in my care been fallen ill. Our usual tonics aren't working. A cane, too. Are you certain you're feeling all right? Of course. I am, miss. Clara! Is there a doctor nearby? Bring her inside. She simply collapsed? Yes, she said the others took tonic, but it didn't work. I should think not. Ever since Elliotson was murdered, the district has been overrun with counterfeit tonics. <laughs> this one needs proper care. But without the appropriate medication, she and the others will quickly decline. What do you need? I need supplies. Plenty of them. And medicine. Some of the less common ingredients are being stolen and sold at auction. I'd be happy to help. Here's the list. Miss Fry. Evie Fry. I'm Miss Nightingale. How do you do? Please hurry. We don't have much time.
this thing. enough. These supplies are meant for Miss Nightingale. I'm here to collect them. And they're already loaded on the cart. Please take them. Get up! You mean that cart? Yes. Of course it is. Please be careful. Some of those items are fragile. That's it. Not a moment too soon. I hope you brought the medication I requested. How is she? She will recover. Papalonelli, the children. Thanks to you, we can distribute authentic medicine now. But is that a permanent solution? I will petition to have regulations put in place. Lambeth is in your debt. It takes a long time to change things. But I'm not going anywhere, Miss Fry. Miss Attaway. Yes, may I? Oh. Splendid. You're here to murder me. I what? No matter. Everyone has a prize. Is this enough? I'm not here to kill you. Then what's your game? Mr. Starrick and the Milner Company have blocked your ambitions long enough. I have a business proposition for you. Wonderful. Come with me, we have much to discuss, Mr. Jacob Fry. At your service. Truer words were never spoken.
If you'd be so kind as to take the reins. You must understand I've received threats against my life. Malcolm Miller has all but waged war on me since Mr. Starrick bought out his company. And no offense, I hope, but you do look the king. I doubt I shall ever recover from such a slight. What then is your interest in my redemption, Mr. Fry? I sense an opportunity that will benefit us both. Do you? Is that so hard to believe? Whatever your intentions, it will be quite the tonic to strike back against Milner and Starrick. I have words like... That's one of Milner's! That's the way. I can't lose another bus! Fine girl. Malcolm Milner. Starrick's puppet himself. Careful, you twats! This park scene needs to make it to the outway depot. He thinks he can burn my buses. Let's give him a taste of his own medicine. Let's give him the whole damn bottle. <laughs> we'll turn Milner's park scene against him. But I'll need help from my gang. Such entrepreneurial instinct, Mr. Fry. I shall leave you to it. To my side. I just passed him on the Milner. That was a week ago. Milner wouldn't exactly treat one of that way. I'll catch you and flay ya! Ready to fire! Together now. Ho, Jacob.
primed and ready. Plummeting already. You're hired. Though I have more business planned for us both. Drop a note to my secretary to make an appointment, and I shall reveal the next step in our scheme. I don't actually work. Like that. Mr. Fry, I told you to make an appointment. My schedule was open. You're fortunate I like you. <laughs> Internal combustion engines. Eight small syllables that mean a great deal of money. The engines will be delivered to Milner by train. Secure them for me, and he will be devastated. Mm. I need a second train to pull this off. And I think I know just the man. So we have a deal, Mr. Fry? You're fortunate I like you, Miss Attaway. What do you want, Fry? What makes you so sure I want something? Perhaps I saved you out of the kindness of my own heart. <laughs> Come on, let me tell you about the job. Miller's pulling a lot of cargo there. Just be sure to make the transfer. Give him help.
No problem. Internal combustion engine. The end of horse-drawn transport. <laughs> it's like gazing into the future. And what is the going rate for the future, do you think? Uh, we're not selling them. You're giving them to your contact? You'd be paid all the same. <laughs> Who is this Pearl, anyway? How long have you been working with her? She's a business partner. That's all you need to know. Jacob, darling, do join me. To our fruitful partnership. And to the shiny new engines now in my possession. Back to business. Milner's fled to the Thames, occupied with securing his ferry. It's all he has left. Hmm, protected it with his life, no doubt. The very thing I want you to take. <laughs> Just kill him. That's not your first glass of champagne, is it? Success is more intoxicating than alcohol, Mr. Fry. Then save a glass for me. Now, what would it take to draw out Starek's pawn? The sight of his fairies in flames, perhaps. to sink Milner's enterprise.
the engines. So this is my comeuppance. Pearl Attaway led me to you, not Staric. Then they were gonna give her again. I should never have come between Mr. Staric and Miss Attaway. Family always stay together in the end. What do you mean, their family? Time for Pearl and I to have a real conversation. What are you up to now, Pearl?
I was certain he knew that I belonged to the Order and was there to end me. Imagine my delight when he told me his true purpose. An assassin helping the Templar cause. Isn't that delicious? It's sickening. It's business, cousin. Look at the big picture. With me. You glower too much, cousin. You will get your engines back. Our new motorized buses will bring us both a lot of money. I'll need to arrange proper transport for the engines to get back to my factory. I want you at Waterloo personally to ensure that nothing goes wrong. Of course. May the Father of Understanding guide us. Today and in all of our future endeavors, cousin. Waterloo Station. Doors jammed. Again? Just give it a shot. So the hints you found in the Kenway House lead to the monument. What a wonderful use of your time, Follow me around asking obvious questions. Well, since Henry isn't here, I thought you might enjoy the company. I don't require any company, and Mr. Green is following up on some leads of his own. Oh yes, Mr. Green, that's a fascinating idea. Oh please, Mr. Green, come and take a look at this book and stand oh so close to me, Mr. Green. I do not. Well, perhaps you have nothing better to do, but I'm busy protecting the assassins. Are you really? What was it Father used to say? Don't allow personal feelings to compromise the mission. Precisely. Anyway, I'm off. If I find any more wild geese for you to chase, I'll be in touch. Be ever more pleasant for your absence. Grave digger. 
Will you please stop shouting? You are only being moved out of your home if it is unsafe. This looks familiar. now. That's it. Come on.
It's in the very top. The key to the vault and the shroud. Good day, Miss Fry. I'll take that. You would try to cement your own power. But what if you cannot control it? And why do you want the shroud? Merely to keep the Templars from having it. How like an assassin. To hold the power of eternal life, and yet be too afraid to use it. Eternal life? Is that what you think the Shroud offers? What I think is no longer your concern. <laughs> <laughs> The engine just pulled into Waterloo. Once Stark's men arrive, they're gonna unload the train. I'm not if the train has already left. Assemble a team at Charing Cross. I'll send the engines there for you to recover. Central station's closed. Attaway's orders. You saw these blueprints, did you not? Were you aware of this floor? It's all your minor weakness. Station chief is usually punctual. What in the world is... Get out of our way. These people would be lost without my direction. My direction comes from the station chief. Today's your lucky day. All right, then. Two 
soon once I'm through with ya. Thank you, lad. Now help me up. Have to run. Someone's bound to find you. Here's your damn schedule. Oh, I... Thank you. Attention, passengers! All trains are being diverted to Central Station. I repeat. I have urgent business in the Central Station. Come with me. I have a job. Right. That'll be all. Perhaps I... What a shame. Good partnerships are hard to come by. Ours is most certainly dissolved. It's business, Mr. Fry. One does what one must to come out on top. Crawford will not take the news of my death lightly. He can be unpleasant when he's cross. I have sacrificed so much. I don't want to lose my buses.
When coldness or deceit shall slide The beauty now they prize And deem it but a faded light Which beams within your eyes When hollow hearts must wear a mask Mr. Sterrick! I told you not to disturb me! You'll break your own to see In such a moment I would ask That you remember me That you remember me Crawford A luster, stripped by the hands of that savage. He must be brought to justice. Pearl would not want justice. Pearl would want vengeance. The passion is most welcome, Miss Thorne. But we cannot let our emotions disrupt the lawful structures of society. If we do that, the enemy wins. It shall happen in the shadows. Miss Fry will hang from the gallows, and I will flay her brother as he comes to save her. I suppose it must be done. Take no chances. Increase the Templar presence in London. We alone protect this city of light. Yes, Crawford. And then we shall enter the vault and cast aside the shadows together. <laughs> <laughs>